So the next thing we need to talk about with React Native are the concept of props. So when you have multiple components, you often want to pass some information from one component to another. Props is the way that we do this. If you've worked with React before, just regular React, then I'm sure you're familiar with the concept of props. But if you haven't, if this is your first time with React and React Native, then stick around. I'm going to explain how props work. Okay, I have a very basic project here, just the one component, the one screen, this one right here, and I'm displaying a piece of text in the middle of the screen. What I want to do is I'm going to create another component and bring in some more information onto the screen. Now, I'm going to create a component, and I'm going to call it Leonard. There we go. I've created a component called Leonard. Now, this component could be on this page. I can come in here and I'm going to say, you know, class Leonard extends component. Same way as we've done for this other one. Actually, here I'm going to change this one from React component to this, and I'm going to import just because I prefer to write component instead of React.component. So we can do it this way, or alternatively, we can create a function. We can say const Leonard equals function, like that. Either way is going to work for us. The only difference between these two is that inside this one, I can use state. Inside this one, I can't. I'm not going to be doing anything with state, so I'm going to use this approach. So we can comment this stuff out. We're not using it. Now I've got something called Leonard, which means this will render whatever I put inside of here. This is going to need to have a return method sorry, a return keyword inside of here. We're going to put another text field and we'll say, I am Leonard. There we go. And now we've got the message appearing. That was all that it took to create this other component and use it inside of here. Okay, now props. I want to pass information from this component down to this one. Now, this one can be on the same page, or I can put this inside of a file of its own. We could come over here and we can create a new file called leonard.js. And then we can take our Leonard component. We can come over here, do this. Now I have this component inside of here. I will have to import React for this to work properly. Let's just copy these two imports. And I don't need view, but I do need text. And I will do style sheet as well. I'm going to sort of mimic this just to save myself a little bit of typing. I'm going to create a an object inside my style sheet called big. And I'm going to put the font size on here as 60. OK, so I've created something here called Leonard. It's just returning some text. And I've got this available to me, so I could come in here and say style equals styles dot big. And then that's going to render, but over here we haven't changed this one yet. Um, we're still using the old Leonard. We haven't saved the changes to this file. We need to import Leonard from file leonard.js. Now, over inside of here, we're not exporting anything, so we do have to add that. We do have to say export default like that. Now, when I save this, now I'm going to be oh, getting an error. Okay, it doesn't like it this way, so we can do it this way. restart the script. So we come back here to the command line, hit R to rebuild this. Back into here, we're going to hit command R. And again, there we go, rebuilt. And here it is. There's our text coming up. And it is using font size 60 to write this out, because we've got styles big here using this style. OK, now we haven't done anything with props yet. All we've done is some basic setting up and creating two components that one loads the other. 
because we're importing it. Props to pass data from here over to this one, I just have to come up with attributes. So I can come up with an attribute called color, let's say. And color is going to be sky blue. Okay. Now this value is going to be available inside this other component. Over inside of here, this will receive props. That's just the variable name. And inside of props, we've got something called color. Color, because that's the name that I used right here. If I'd written something else, this would be the property name. Now, inside of here, let's change this and say that I want to create a property called color, and its value is going to be props.color. There it is. So there's the sky blue showing up very small and very faint, I'm sure, on your device, whatever you're watching this on, but it is showing up as that blue color. Okay, now let's pass in this. Let's say that there was two different styles here, one called big, one called small, and the font size on small was 12. So we have these two to choose from, one or the other, but I'm going to pass through which one I want to use in props. Over here, so let's say it's going to be called style obj, and it's going to be set to big, like that. So we're passing in a new prop called style obj. Its value is big. Over here, we could say that instead of this color one, we're going to use props dot style object. Now, now this style object is just the value. It's just the word big. We don't want just the word big here. We want styles. That's the thing that has a property called big. So that's what we're passing in here. Oh, sorry, not style. Styles. There we go. And there it is. It is applying that style to find as big right here. So we have the large text showing up. Now, what if we wanted to use both? Well, we've got one thing that's a string and one thing right here. This is going to be the name of an object. This is just a string. I want to do both things inside of here. Well, we can do that too. So I can come up with my own style object. Let's just call it sty. And I'm going to take everything from inside of props dot style obj. Actually, we want to do the same thing. Actually, right here. So styles this. Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm saying, go to the styles object, find the thing called, this will be the string big. So we're finding this object and I'm saying, all the properties inside of here, I want to copy them into this. So if there were multiple properties here, they would all be copied into this object. Then I'm going to add on the next one. So we're going to say sty.color is equal to props.color. So those are the two properties. We're bringing over the style object and we're bringing over the color object. Those two things. This is the word big and this is the word sky blue. We're going to have color and font size inside of this object. And then we're going to use all that right here. This is going to be our style object. So there we are, sky blue, 60 point font. So we have all the different things that we need right here being passed through as props. OK, so that's props. And if we wanted to do something with those props again, we could create another Leonard object here. And inside this one, let's say that the color is going to be, uh, yeah, let's say make it red, and this one's going to be small. So red and small, the small is going to get this font size, and the red will be added through, and we're reusing this component. So we're making two of these components, and there we are. So here's the little tiny red one and the big blue one. If we came in here, we changed this to big, saved it, there we are. There's a, a big blue and a big red one. So that's how you use props. Just passing data from one component to another. 
So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's enough for you to get started with. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a copy of these two files as links to the code gists down inside the description. And as always, thanks for watching.